everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing my October favorites. Pretty much everything and anything that I have been absolutely loving this entire month of October as well as the last two or three months um, simply because I have not been on here in so, with that being said, obviously, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And we're just going to get straight on into it just because this intro is going to be like 30,000 years long if I don't just cut it short. So, let's go. I'm just going to jump in. In no particular order, we're just going to go head first <laughs> with all my stuff that I've been loving lately. Um, a lot of it, so I have so much stuff because I've been using so much stuff over the last couple months just to figure out what I really, really love. I have found some Holy Grail products and I've also found like brand new products that I have gotten recently that I'm just obsessed with. Um, the first item that I definitely want to talk about is this little guy. Um, this is the Love Your Selfie um, Pure Cosmetics Foundation. This has become one of my Holy Grails. It's kind of up there with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Nothing can trump that one. That one's like my number one go-to favorite foundation, but this foundation is absolutely incredible. Um, I have the shade TP2. Um, it is the perfect shade for me, um, and that is really difficult to do. Um, this is, um, I believe it's for light tan skin. It's a very matte foundation, um, and, but it still doesn't make my skin feel like it's being sucked out of all the moisture. Um, so I love this. I believe it has 100 shades, which is crazy. Um, they literally have a shade for everybody. Um, I definitely suggest this. This is probably my favorite foundation as of late. I've used it every time I'm doing my makeup. So I definitely would suggest this. Um, it is an amazing foundation. So yeah, love this. Um, the next product, it's not all going to be um, makeup products. Um, I have a lot of skincare and then I have some miscellaneous items that literally I've been using forever. Also, I apologize if I'm constantly fidgeting with my hair. I have a thing about my hair being in my face and I'm constantly like grabbing it out of my face and like it, it's ridiculous. So I apologize in advance. I'm trying really hard not to touch it because I do really love it. It looks so good and healthy right now, but I'm just like, I like, I just want to pull it up and put it in a bun, but don't mind me. It's literally everywhere. Um, yeah, that being said, so I apologize for that. Um, the next product is also another makeup product. Um, this is the, it is the Becca Hydra Mist setting powder. If you guys have not ever tried this, it is absolutely, it sounds so gimmicky and it sounds crazy that it would even feel like this, but it truly is an amazing product. Uh, honestly, like I, I can't even begin, I can't even begin to describe it to you guys because it's so good. Um, it literally feels like you're putting cold water on your face. Um, it is an incredible mattifying setting powder. I have it on my skin right now that I use it. I literally, when I got it in my BoxyCharm, I use it nonstop. Um, I think I got it like two BoxyCharms ago. It is an amazing product. Um, I use it all of the time, all of the time. I mean, honestly, this is, I thought it was gonna be super gimmicky and like not do what it said it's gonna do, but it does. And it's the coolest, coolest makeup product I think I have in my collection now because it just feels so damn good putting it on your skin. It's like a nice little refresh, which is what it's meant to be. Um, yeah, so there's that. Another product that I have on um, is actually on my lids right now, um, minus the shimmer because it doesn't come with a shimmer, but um, I got this in this month's BoxyCharm, which I did not do a video on, which I'm sorry. Um, but I've been using it the, a lot the last like two weeks. I love this eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the Dose of Colors uh, Blushing Berries palette. It is so pigmented and so pretty. I can't even begin to describe to you guys without blinding you. Um, this was just one eyeshadow with um, a Huda glitter on it. Um, it's actually so pretty. Um, I love this palette. I can use one eyeshadow. I can use all the eyeshadows. You can use it. I can get a really smoky, beautiful, uh, like berry eye, and I kind of want all of them now. It's really bad. Um, 
Dose of Colors is absolutely incredible. I mean, like, look at the packaging. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And another product um, that I've been loving is the Lorac, um, or Lorac, however you want to say it, um, is their Sunday's the Tantalizer Bronzer, um, bronzing powder. It is a beautiful bronzing color. Um, and yes, it does have shimmer in it. Um, but it is not, I barely can tell that it does have like a lot of shimmer, um, on my skin. It just adds like a nice, like healthy looking tan on your skin. Um, um, I got that like at the beginning of this month and I use it nonstop now. I even took it on a trip to Austin. Um, and that's what I used. It's so good. It's so, so good. Go ahead and just jump straight into the skincare part of my like favorites because I have like three products that I've been using like non-stop I use it every night but the product I'm gonna talk about is the glam glow um, gentle bubble cleanser I love this stuff um, I got this in a boxy term a really long time ago and I've just now started to like really use it I'm like down to here I'm like halfway gone which makes me really sad because this is such a good product um, it is a thick moisturizer and it doesn't have a strong scent to it, which I like. You guys will find out, my skincare, I don't care for fragrance. Um, I really, really hate when companies put fragrance in skincare. Skin perfume is not good for your skin. It really isn't. Um, so if you can smell perfume, you probably shouldn't be putting it on your skin because it's probably gonna cause you to break out and that's what people are allergic to. Um, so, I really like that it's a thick, consistency it is so good for the skin it leaves my skin super soft um, it doesn't I one one major thing I do not break out when I use it because um, I always hesitate when I use a skincare product for the first time because I'm always worried that like okay your girl's about to break out it's not gonna be good um, but thankfully uh, thankfully, this product does not make me break out um, as well as the other two products. So if you, and after I cleanse my face, clean my face, and it's a clean slate, um, I go in with these two products I got in my Boxy Lux box, which you guys should have seen. If you did not watch it, I'll leave it down below. <laughs> um, I got the Sunday Riley um, Water Cream. It is so good. This is a, um, it's a pretty expensive product, um, <laughs> which. Uh, works the wise both of these are not inexpensive at all. They are pretty hefty in price So I absolutely love this product. Um, it is so hydrating and it also has a brightening aspect to it as well So if you have any dark pigmentation, which I do um, I scar very easily from uh, from my acne spots I go in after I use the Sunday Riley water cream I will go in and put the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic um, sleeping mask so I literally have water cream and sleeping mask on top of my skin and then I just go to bed and in the morning my skin is the softest it has ever been it has less less pigmentation it is less um, skin texture it is so good it's so nice um, so yeah I would word to the wise I would definitely suggest both of these products if you're gonna spend money on your skincare buy them this is I believe $65 and I believe this one is 34 don't quote me on that I will definitely leave it down below in the description box like the price and like a link to it um, but I know that these two are pretty hefty I mean they're not much not budget friendly at all um, so yeah love those three items um, obviously they are higher end but I my skin is looking the best it's ever looked because of these products. Anyways, um, that being said, um, I have also been recently trying to dabble more into all organic or all natural deodorants. Um, I have tried three different types and three different brands. If you guys want to see a video on about each of them and like what each one did to me and like if they were worth it or whatever, I can definitely do a video on that. But the one that I have found to be the most strong and not have any of the extra chemicals in it is the native brand that you can get at Target. Um, I got this in the eucalyptus and mint. Eucalyptus and mint. Um, it smells like men's deodorant, but it's so good. Um, it actually becomes pliable, like softer when the more you use it, 
it smells amazing it lasts all day I don't ever worry about like BO coming through and this is a really good deodorant if you're trying to find something that's as strong as a normal deodorant but without all of the extra gunk that comes in deodorant unfortunately that we put in our bodies which I've been doing for the last 24 years of my life so yay um, yes, so if you follow me on Instagram, the next two products I'm going to talk about is because of this. Um, recently, or like, God, was it like two months ago? Oh my gosh. Um, a while back, I went and got my nails done, and I got the gel extensions put on my nails. Obviously, my nails are not done right now because I haven't had time, but I kid you not, was the worst experience I've ever had at a salon ever. Um, they were crooked, misshapen, they were really bad, they were really ugly, and I went back, I had to basically pester them non-stop about either getting a refund or getting like an exchange for regular gel mania and just have them removed. Um, so I went back, got the difference back in my, um, back on my card and then pay, just got a gel manicure. Um, we'll never go back though, just cause like I'm not spending that money anymore, like I, spent so much money on my nails and they literally broke within like a week because I'm a server. Um, I work in a restaurant, so it's just not worth it for me. Um, I actually got got caught up in the nail side of YouTube and I actually purchased my own LED lamp and gel nail washes so I can actually do my, my own nails at home. And then I bought like all of the nail stuff, all of like the tools and everything um, that you need and I could do not, it's so much fun to do my nails now, like I actually really really enjoy it and they look like this, um, so the LED lamp, I will leave it down below the exact brand and everything um, because I paid less than $20 for this product and it it's a really great lamp. It's actually really strong too. Um, so yeah. And then the brand of gel nail polish that I purchased, um, they have tons of colors, tons and tons and tons of colors. Um, they sell them in a pack of six, but they are gel in gel nail polishes. They are so nice. I got the nude mauve one. Um, they come in these little little nail polishes for like seventeen or eighteen dollars well worth it in my opinion and I so I spent what I spent on my nails on a lamp for myself and gel nail polishes and now I can do them I can do my nails like 50,000 times and not have to worry about going into a salon leaving the comfort of my own home because you know I like to be at home um, I definitely suggest anybody to do that if you guys want to see me um, do a YouTube video on like me doing my nails how I do them like how I take off the gel nail polish and all that stuff like I can definitely do a video on that too just let me know down below. Um, it's something that I find very therapeutic. Um, another product, and I have to show you guys my hair. Look how shiny it is. Look how shiny that is. Um, I have been using my Pureology Clean Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. I really just use the shampoo though. Um, I use a conditioner when I go and do a hair mask, which is probably why my hair is so dang shiny. Um, but this product is so good. Um, this is the conditioner. I have the shampoo. Oh, no, I have the shampoo right here. I thought I had it in the shower. Um, I am literally down to here. It is a $30 shampoo and conditioner a piece. Like, they're $30 a piece. They are not inexpensive at all. But I received those in my influencer box months and months and months ago, and I wasn't using it. And then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try and see if what happens to my hair. My hair feels so stinking good. It doesn't make me have really skin or dry scalp, which a lot of clean shampoos do to me. I don't know why, but it dries out my scalp so bad that I end up having just flakes everywhere. And using this, my my hair has been so soft, so healthy. Um, I definitely suggest these two. I've been using them for like the last like three months now and that's why this is almost, <laughs> why it's almost empty. I can also go like four days without washing my hair. And if you know me, that is a feat in itself because I wash my, I try not to wash my hair every day. Um, I've gotten really good at it because of this shampoo. Um, so yeah, definitely suggest that. I will leave it down below because honey, you need to go get it. Go get it. 
Um, okay, so I was gonna do music, but I feel like that would make for a good video in its own like thing. So I am actually going to just film a music that I've been loving, you know, a video. I will save that for next time. Um, if you guys want to see that video, definitely let me know down below. Um, cause I really do want to make something like that. Maybe I can do a drive with me. You guys can just listen to the music that I listen to on a daily basis. And yeah, so. All right, with that all being said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Um, that is pretty much sums up everything that I've been loving this October and the last couple months. Hopefully you guys love this video. And if you do, definitely don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below. Turn on the little notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And obviously don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there are tons and tons of new videos coming. And this time, I really do promise. I really do. Um, with that being said, I will see you guys next time. And thank you guys so much for watching. And bye.